I mean, to be in the courtroom when they uh, play the actual video. Um, I, I literally had, you know, it, it broke me. Um, I was in tears, and so it was just a very emotional uh, time. It's honestly worse than any horror movie I've ever seen um, in my life. Um, so it's difficult to watch. Um, and knowing him, even just hearing his voice and hearing his moans and his cries, I wasn't able to physically look at it, but just hearing that was, was tormenting. It, it's hard to watch. And how much have you felt racial discrimination has played a part here in what happened to George, but also where you are now in terms of this trial? His case has kind of transcended some of the race issues because it's more about humanity. Like, in this case, if you had any human feelings at all, you felt something um, when you saw what happened to him. So in a lot of ways, I think it, it's been an eye-opener for a lot of people. How do you feel hearing the testimony of the young black woman, the teenager, who started rolling on her mobile phone? How do you feel about her actions? You know, there's, there's not a word that I can think of to show her how grateful we are because she was the one who, you know, posted the video that everybody around the world saw initially. Um, and had it not been for her, who knows? We, we may not be where we are today. Obviously, we want, um, we want to see the people who are responsible for his murder um, to, to be held accountable, and we want a conviction um, for those who are responsible. Also, we want to see the kind of reform, uh, the actual change um, in the police reform that will uh, prevent anybody else from having to live out this same terror.